and you're watching Mets Weekly. Coming up on Mets Weekly, presented by Flat Rate Moving. There's nothing better than sitting uh, sitting back on a Saturday watching, uh, you know, a good college football rivalry. Some of your favorite Mets will tell us which college football teams they'll be pulling for this fall. The only thing I care about is if they beat U of A. That's the only thing that matters. Plus, a former Met brings his inspiring story to City Field for a special cause. Battled like heck to get back, battled for three years, and it just wasn't meant to be. We'll tell you what the animal, Chris Carter, does to his baseball bats before each game. I started taping bats when I started using wood bats. Um, this was when I was like 15 years old. And the members of the Mets continue an important tradition. You know, it's just so, so special to be able to come in here and, and kind of hang out and just kind of, um, you know, hear these guys' stories and, and just let them know that, that we appreciate everything they do. By fans, for fans, this is Mets Weekly. Welcome to another episode of Mets Weekly presented by Flat Rate Moving. I'm Julie Alexandria and today we're coming to you from the New Era store in downtown Manhattan. Now most baseball players are sports fans too. They play fantasy football, they fill out their brackets for March Madness, and most of your favorite Mets have a favorite college football team. I really enjoy watching college football. That's, uh, you know, there's nothing better than sitting, uh, sitting back on a Saturday watching, uh, you know, a good college football rivalry. Arizona State because um, I went there and I'm an alumni now and really the only college games I ever went to was the Arizona State ones so you know I definitely have to root for the Devils. The only thing I care about is if they beat U of A. That's the only thing that matters. Well, I went to school at Western Michigan but I uh, grew up a Notre Dame uh, football fan so my dad and my brother went there so I'm a big Notre Dame football fan and uh, it just so happens that the Broncos play the Irish uh, I think it's like November 16th this year. So uh, it should be pretty exciting. We grew up every weekend going there and uh, just a beautiful campus and uh, you know so much history there. I'm gonna have to go with uh, USC because you know, I, went, I went to school there. And uh, yeah, go Trojans. So I went to a few games. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like 75,000 people, so it's pretty awesome. And it, we won quite a bit, so I mean, that, that was pretty cool too. So yeah, they're overall pretty awesome to go to. You know, being from Southern Illinois, we don't have you know a close Big time school there, so just really uh, just try to pick one one game out of the sun Saturday and uh, you know sit back and watch it. College football is awesome, you know, just like the NFL. I mean, Saturdays and Sundays in here is a lot of fun. We talk about it, we, we laugh and, and uh, give each other a hard time. You know, I feel a little uh, bad for D right right now. He's 0-2, but you know, my Irish aren't doing too well either. They just lost to Michigan, which is a big hit. Uh, you know, because I'm not a big fan of Michigan. You know, we're in fantasy leagues together um, with NFL. You know, and we have fun with that. And we get to talk about stuff other than baseball, and, and it keeps it, you know, fresh in there. But um, you know, as far as college goes, you know, when, when Virginia Tech got beat by Boise State, you know, we all kind of gave David a little couple, you know, jabs in the side, just make, you know, having fun. But but uh, you know, everyone has their favorite team, and when they lose, everyone's going to give you some hard time. So you know, we have fun with it. That's that's a good thing. For all the latest Mets news and info, and to chat with other Mets fans, visit MetsBlog.com, part of the SNY.TV blog network. Time for the flat rate moving move of the week. And he drives one to left field beyond the reach of Tabata, and that'll go one hop up against the wall. Tejada pulls into second base with a one out double. Evans pulls one through the whole base in. Here comes Tejada around third. Top of the throw to the plate. Not in time, and the Mets win it. Nick Evans with a walk-off hit brings home Ruben Tejada with the game's only run, and the Mets win it in 10, one to nothing. Still to come on Mets Weekly, presented by Flat Rate Moving. The Mets continue an honorable tradition that is so close to the hearts of many New Yorkers. These are the real heroes. These are the people that uh, you know got everything, try to get everything back in order. And uh, you know, the least that you can do is go back and tell them thank you and show your appreciation. And and Davis clocks one to deep center field, going back, warning track at the wall. It's out of here. We take a look at Ike Davis and the impact the rookie has had on the Mets this season. 